Hello YouTube, Logan here, and today's video guys, this is the first episode of Built on a Budget, and in today's episode, I am pulling crap out of my WPL bag, and um, making a diff gear for um, my awesome build, <laughs> I'm not going to leak too much yet, so what's going to happen is, I have two of the same gear, so I don't mind if I sacrifice one, but um, one of them is going to go in there like this, which seems to fit it basically perfectly. So I'll just drill a hole on this side, and then find something that will go on the other side, which will cap it off. And then I'll just drill a hole in like the side of this for the input gear, and put a shaft on it. Relatively simple. So, I will do my plans for this, which is just drill it out, so I can fit this nice aluminum rod in there. And it's actually quite convenient because there's enough, I know it's that we've been here, there's actually enough material on the very end of the gear where um, the little threads are right here, that um, I can actually still thread things in. Theoretically, if the drill goes straight through instead of going like sideways or crooked or whatever. So I'm gonna figure out what size this is. I think it's 3 sixteenths. I'm gonna verify, grab, grab that size drill bit, drill this, drill this bit out, and then I'll come back to you guys with the next update. So after trying to drill it with a 3 sixteenths, which is uh this size the, the rod, I've come to figure that this it's just too big to drill a nice straight hole. So what we'll do is we'll just work our way up until a 3 16th. So I have a nice straight hole so that the rod, well, my semi-straight rod, can um, go in there all nice and straight. My plan, my plan was working very well until I hit the um, little, little keyhole area for the screw. So that kind of threw me off. So I'm going to try again, but going slower because I was just gunning and hoping it worked. So, hopefully I didn't mess up any of the teeth when I just jerked it around on the vise. But, I'll get, I'll get back with you with the next update. Hopefully it'll be drilled out. Alright guys, so I've drilled it out with two size drill bits now. I'm on my third one, which is the final one. The only problem I'm having now is um, it's actually starting to um, go up in a smoke show every like 10 seconds. So, um, it's going to be a pretty slow process, but I will get there. And I already test fitted an aluminum rod here, which is going to be for our, um, I don't know what you call that. Uh, like the center rod inside the diff. Kind of like this transmission here. Except this will be the, this will be the diff, two wheels, same thing. Um, so yeah, that is going to be coming along very shortly. And with the power of YouTube magic, that will be done basically now. Alright guys, so I just drilled it out with the 3 16th drill bit over there which fits the rod, and then it's a little bit not the best looking on the top, so I'm gonna use this nice file to grind it down and make it look nice and pretty. I've slid the pinion gear, or the input gear, whatever you wanna call it, into the diff. So, now this, now this normally wouldn't just fit in there, but the good news is you can just slide it in like this. Now it is officially in there. Now I need some shimming to match this hole here, but the good news is that shimming isn't that hard to do. So, the other part of the update here is that I have ground this, this is the mistake one, I ground a big slash in the gear, which will have a pin going in it, once that pin goes in there, um, it'll be able to have drive to the rear axle, which is right here. And I'm gonna um, cut it according to the length. I'm, I'm actually gonna have to take this part off because it's just terrible. And then I'm gonna cut it to the length of the, um, like the scale length of the rear diff. And then once that's done, I can drill a hole, put this, um, this tiny pin in there which would give drive to this diff gear. So that's how that's gonna work. And then I'm gonna mount a PVC pipe of half. 
I know these are kind of disgusting. I need to clean them out a bit. But it would be half like this. And then the other one would just be on the other side. So that would be my diff. Very small, but hopefully you can handle lots of torque. All right, guys, this is another update. So I have shimmed out the drive shaft on here. I have put the pin through the axle shaft. It is now on the gear. And then I am shimming the input gear off just a little bit with that washer so it doesn't rub against the side of the diff housing. And then I can put it in into here, there, and then a bunch of other stuff. And then it works very nicely. Apart from the fact that I don't have anything else that can go on the end of this diff housing to keep everything in. I was thinking of cutting one of these in half and then just flattening it. But um, I couldn't find any washer that had a 3 16 hole and that was big enough to cover it. So that's probably what I'm going to do here with one of these. Um, I remember I have a really, really teeny tiny one around here somewhere. But Alright, well I'm going to get that sorted and I'll see you in my next update. Alright guys, so um, our next update is I glued this piece of PVC onto the other PVC and used a Dremel bit to grind out the inside of that so I could pull the pinion gear back. It's in there pretty nicely now, there's not too much wobble. I also glued on this side of the differential. And I'll put it, like something on here to keep the axle stable. And then the, wheel the wheels will be mounted on here. The axle sticks out from the case, so then I can actually mount wheels there. Then I'm working on gluing this piece to um, this washer at the bottom, so then I can have it glued into this case while it's pressing down on the pin to keep that in. Obviously, it's gonna, it's very hard to take out. And I shimmed this in perfectly, and then. I'm just making sure that the axle is straight currently, and if it's not, I'll bend it to be like perfectly straight. But, um, I will update you guys once I get something else done. I am going to be greasing the diff, as this is going to be kind of permanent, because it's just going to be super glued together, because I can't really find a way that I can, um, keep it all together with screws, as there's not much material at all to screw on to here and I don't feel like making extra mounting points and this will just be easier in the long run but um since the last update I have finished the end cap type of thingies bearings whatever you want to call them bushings that, that they would represent on the either side this side looks a bit cleaner hence it was my first design this was just a one that I was just like okay I are wing it but it is working in there. Everything's working. I suspect the, the gear, this one, is going to go out first, the input shaft, because it is aluminum, because no magnet will stick to it. I'm pretty sure this is just steel in here. So, this rod is aluminum. That pin is probably steel. Don't know. And, um, yeah, so this is going to be the diff. All right, guys, this is the finished product. All of that is on there. I put grease in there. And just trust me, it works. But that's going to end it for this episode. Thank you guys so much for all the love and support.